All right, everyone, we're at the Aqua Depot stand here with David, and he's going to talk us through some awesome products. Let's go. Cool. So this is the Reef Kinetics Reef Bot. Um, it's a brand new robotic water testing device, I suppose best way to put it. It's taking all the human error out of water testing. So measuring your reagents, measuring the sample, and then most of all, reading those colours, trying to work out what your, what your level is based upon what half dozen colours that everyone looks at and gets confused and can't decide. This is doing that electronically. So when it looks at the colours, it's using a, a camera or a sensor and it's telling you exactly what colour your sample is matching on the, on the colour chart of the test kit. The important thing about this is that it's as accurate as the test kit you're using. So what it's doing is just measuring out um, the reagents, the sample, and performing all the, the stirring, shaking, the, the weight times to develop the colour or the reactions. It's basing all those on what the recommendations are from the test kit manufacturer um, to give you the, an accurate, consistent result. So when you do a water test manually, you might take a little more, you know, different amounts of sample water each time. You might put an extra drop without knowing it. You might not leave it enough to develop. This is going to do that exactly the same every time. So the accuracy comes from how precise is it measuring, weighting, and following the process to, to you know, get the end result for the test kit. It only works with liquid only test kits. So because it, it's, it's sucking out liquid reagents, there's not really an easy means for it to take a scoop of a dry powder. Um, but they are as as um, there's a lot of fresh, also a lot of liquid only reagent test kits available, and they're constantly adding new test kits to the to the um, to the machine. So every couple of weeks, there's a new one added now. So at the moment, you see it does a fair few, and they're from a whole bunch of different manufacturers. So the compatible test kits from Salafert, Red Sea, Fauna Marin, API, Geisman. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Um, but yeah, it's a We've only had it for a few weeks, but so far it's been fantastic. Haven't needed to test phosphate manually in my tank for a good couple of weeks, which has been great. Yeah, awesome. So when's it going to be available for people to start buying? Um, good question. I'm not 100% sure at this stage. We're still evaluating, but probably, I'd say, a few months. All right, so we've also got a whole bunch of cool tunes equipment here. Let's have a quick rundown. Sure. So this is this is pretty much a full range of all the Tunzi um, equipment we've got and distributed here at Aqua Depot. So we've got the, the skimmers, fair size of skimmers, the internal skimmers, which are the fantastic for nanos, especially the 9001s, which fit in most of the back to the nano tanks. The stream pumps, um, which are really good, reliable pumps. The magna cleaners, which we'll go look at the other tank now. We'll show you something special about those. But these are. Awesome glass cleaners. We just go over here. So these, these, these are just first time they've ever been seen by the public. The new version of the magnet cleaner, which will be out later in the year. They've added floats to um, the new models, which will come as default. So when it falls off, floats on the surface. No need to pick it up off the bottom of the net or, or hook it out with something. Before the new models are released, they will actually make available floats for the existing models. So the floats is clip on, that's a modular kind of um, option, which is great. So if you've already got one, you'll actually be able to get these floats. The other benefit is that for the really strong, the magnets for like a 20 and 25 mil glass, the narrow kind of form of the magnets, sometimes people find it a little bit hard to use because they're so small to hold. This makes it, you can really grip it well. The other thing I want to show you is the, this is one of their stream three pumps. Yeah. And as you can see, it's really rocking this tank. Look at the uh, the wave action going on in here. These things do up to about 15,000 litres an hour. They come with a couple of different options for the for the heads in them as well. So this one's got on the end, it's just a little disc that clips on and off. This is the random flow generator sort of head. So it's got twisted sort of fins and makes it want to spiral out. There's also a 90 degree sort of head so you can mount it vertically and then it pushes the water out the top like that and then there's just a normal straight one. 
these guys are great and put them behind the water, blowing water through the back of the reef along the glass, keep it really nice and flowing and get rid of all any of those dead spots. The other thing is this is also the newest algae reactor. So this is the one that goes up to a 1600 litre um, volume tank. It comes with two of the Tunzi um, uh, nano, sorry, uh, refugium lights, LED lights. If, I don't know if you can see down here, I'll just move the LED light a bit, but there's a bit of keto in there, you can see it's spinning around. One of the benefits of these, because it circulates and spins the keto around, it actually helps clean the unit yep. inside, so it's always scouring the algae off the walls and, and whatnot. They're really cleverly designed, they come with their own circulation pump as well. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the smaller model and I'll just show you some of the cool features. So they've got really easy to use thumb screws. They're not, you don't need any tools or anything. They don't need to be super tight. But it's got magnets built into the lid. Oh, it's got here. So it kind of locks into the right position. Yeah. So you don't, there's no, you know, there's no um, problems with it not sealing properly. It always goes exactly where you need it to go. You just tighten up by hand and then boom, it's sealed. Um, Excellent. Yeah, it's a really, really great product. And these are available now as well? Yep. These are available now and the bigger ones should be available shortly. We're just waiting on socks for those to arrive. And I can see here we've got some cool stuff uh, ready from Kamora to go through. Some awesome range of uh, dosing pumps. Yeah, so these, Kamoa have got, you know, are one of the biggest dosing head manufacturers in the world. Most people know, wouldn't necessarily know, Kamoa make majority of all the medical and healthcare dosing sort of uh, hardware. So all their, their, their dosing pedigree is very, very strong. There's a couple of like standout models. So this, the um, bloke we know as a calcium doser. Yep. Uh, so rated for 24-7 continuous yep. duty. And up to, I think this is the new version, version 2, does I think 120 mils a minute. The old one did about 100 mils a minute. Really heavy duty, it's got six rollers on it. So it's, it's not a spurting sort of flow, it's a really nice continuous stream of water, which is great for a calcium reactor. Easily um, adjustable, it's also, it's also Wi-Fi, so you can adjust it with an app as well. Um, it's a great little unit. There's the um, Pro, there's the F4 series, so the normal F4, which is a, pretty much a standard doser, but nice heavy duty, nice small compact design. Um, and then F4 Pro, which is the, up, the top of the range version, upgraded dosing heads with um, great little uh, adapters. So oh, you yeah, stick the hose compression in, fitting. compression fittings, yep, yep. screw it on, as opposed to the hose barbs, which sometimes can be a little bit problematic. Yep. Especially once the hose gets old, comes with color coded heads and color coded hoses, Very so nice, yeah. no more mixing up elk and uh, calcium, yeah. which is fantastic. And these are a much better quality motor um, than the standard ones as well. They're not 100 duty cycle like the uh, calcium doses, but they're still they're a much better and quieter um, mm. dosing head. This is another. It's a new Kamara product. Um, it's actually an automatic water changer. So. They're using two dosing heads, one to remove, one to add water. It's also got an ATO incorporated into it. So if you're using it on salt water tank, for example, if you use, you would use the ATO built into this, it comes with all the level sensors and whatnot. So then it can drop the water down. It's not gonna trigger your other ATO to add fresh water. And then it fills it back up. You can set all sorts of schedules and things. It's got another, also a great app to control all that. Um, the last of the mobile products here is the, the ATO. So it's a, it's a standalone little ATO, has a standard optical and mechanical sensors as well as backups. Really good compact little unit. We've had really good successes lately. It's a really nice little um, ATO. Awesome, yeah. Well, you've got a full range of dosing product needs and you know, auto water changes is something that I've always advocated for. So I'm personally very excited to see products like this hitting the market. Yeah, definitely. And now let's bring us over to, we all know what this is, the Apex and um, Finally, in Australia, the Trident. So this is Trident number two. <laughs> Trident number two. We're, so with the latest update, we're expecting is March. We're supposed to be getting Tridents. Fingers crossed, toes crossed. Yeah. So the first one's been really successfully used for the last six to eight months at sustainable reefs. Um, 
the, they heavily utilise Apex for managing all manner of water quality and system um, uh, control of their of their coral farm. They love, especially Shane, he loves the, the trident. You know, it's an integral part of their system, knowing how much oh, calcium, alkalinity and magnesium is being used by their system. You've got to see, you know, uh, four, you know, I think they test six times a day, so they can see exactly what's being used when. The trident also works with their dose, metrium dose doses to automatically increase or decrease above and beyond their standard dosing regime that they dose in there. So every day their system, their corals are growing, calcium and alkalinity demand are increasing. The, the trident can um, add an extra 10 or 5%, however you set it, in excess of what they currently dose. So it's always making up that difference to try and smooth out the, the alkalinity um, variances awesome. and calcium variances on the system. But yeah, these are... Yeah, I, I know a lot of reefers are very excited and have been waiting a very long time for the Triton. So fingers crossed it's coming soon. And, um, yeah, that's awesome. We're all very, we really hope it comes soon. <laughs> all right, so the last product we're going to cover here in the Aqua Depot booth is something that I'm very familiar with, which is the Aquatic Life T5 hybrid units. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only person in Australia that has a DX18, but I got it uh, early by importing it myself directly. But Aqua Depot is going to be bringing it into the country shortly, and we've got a demo model here. So let's hear a little bit about them. So this, this is the new version of the um, Aquatic Life hybrid unit. You can see it's, the old unit was very square. New unit is nice and rounded and modular. New unit also has dimming functions for the T5, which is great. We believe two weeks we should have the, all the stock in, so we've been waiting for this for a while, but they're fantastic unit. They're really nice and slick now. If you look at that, they're yeah. really nice. They fit pretty much every LED you can think of. They I come, mean, pe people who watch my YouTube channel will be very familiar with this unit as it's the one floating above my tank and it looks absolutely mint. And I'm running it with two castles in it. Yeah. So, um, but uh, you can also fit any light you want. So we've got... Yeah, so they, by default they come with the straight brackets. Any square rectangular LED will be can be mounted on those. You can add Kessel brackets for 360s or 160s. Um, red C's would work with the straight brackets. If you've got, you know, Illu Magic, you know, long kind of... Um, yeah. Almost non any LED yeah. in the market can yeah. be mounted in, in this they're hybrid very, unit. Very, very yeah. adaptable in terms of what they're designed to work with pretty much anything. Awesome. So four T5 and LED, what a combination. Yeah. Well, as we've run through, we've got an amazing range of products here from Aqua Depot. So with Aquatic Life, um, Apex, the Trident, all the tons stuff, and uh, the Kamoa dosing heads. Um, check them out. Ask your local fish store to get these in stock. If you've got any um, questions, post them in the comments down below. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you.